Well, good morning, everyone. I'm glad you can join me. I thank God for being here this morning, and I hope you do too. We're running a little bit behind schedule, but we'll have it together for next week. I just want to thank the many of you that are sharing my videos or sharing this post. I don't have the words to say thank you enough, but I'm so glad you you did. And I just pray that this week your, your week is going better and better and better and, and that you're still growing in the Lord. I do have a few things to share with you. This morning, I want to talk about being steadfast, being steadfast. In a climate that we're living in, sometimes it's hard. You, you lose sight of your goals. You lose sight of your focus. You forget what, you, what your priorities are. But I want you to remain steadfast in the Lord. I want you to remain steadfast in the Lord and don't lose your focus. You can change, you can change your strategy, but don't change your mind. Thank you for joining us this morning. Amen. The 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58, I want to lay some foundation. It says, therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And I just want to read out of of this, the Amplified Version. This uh, book was given to me. Um, it used to be my my former Sunday school teacher uh, before he went home to be with the Lord. Hi, Davina. I see you, girl. God bless you. Coming all the way from Texas. Amen. Used to be my Sunday school teacher. Amen. And so, uh, Carolina, I see you. God bless you. Amen. And, and Elder Wardlow, Elder Wardlow left many, many treasures of books uh, for us to glean for. And so this book is from Elder Wardlow. Amen. From his, his many, many collections of books. It says, in, in, in this translation, therefore, my beloved brethren, be, be firm, steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. That is always being superior, excelling, doing more than enough in the service of the Lord, knowing and being continually aware that your labor in the Lord is not futile, is not in vain. Never waste, never wasted or no, or to no purpose, knowing that what we're doing for the Lord, it, it has value. It has purpose. What we're doing in, for the Lord is very important that we need to stay on track. We need to stay focused. The shifting is going to happen whether you stay focused or not. So I want to encourage you to stay focused. I want to encourage you to stay on track. Amen. John 10 and 10, the, that verse says the, the enemy comes, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But what I want to focus on is the stealing. One of the things he comes to steal, steal is your focus. He comes to steal your attention. He comes to steal your composure, your motivation. Amen. We, right now, we're living in such a climate. Now, for Washington State, the mandate on us has, has, has been extended until May 4th. So a lot of people are going to struggle with that. A lot of people are already struggling, not their struggle with the social, social distancing. Amen. They, they struggle with not being able to see their loved ones. They're struggling because they're lonely. They're struggling because they, they don't have the companionship or they can't get out. You know, now we're, we're being very confined. And right now they're putting a mandate on us 
for the next two weeks in Washington State is that to stay in. Don't go to the grocery stores. Don't go to the pharmacy. And that's going to be hard on people. I realize that. But let me tell you something. I don't want you to lose your focus. I don't want you to lose your composure. Don't lose your composure. This is not a, a time and the enemy will come and try and steal your composure. He doesn't want you to be steadfast in the things of the Lord. He doesn't want you to be faithful in the time, in this time, in this season. And, and, and can I just remind you of something about this season? This season, we're in the shifting. Amen. We're in the shifting and we're in the shaking. And right now, you have to be steadfast. You have to discern what the Spirit of God is saying. When you see something disastrous like this that's happening all over the world, not just Washington State, but all over the world, you have to discern that God is speaking to his people. He's speaking to us, saints of God. And we can misunderstand this time. We can take this time for granted and say and, and be mournful. We can take this time and be sad. I've seen people put up and say, this is my Facebook uh, picture. And they're looking all like, like, uh, having attitude. Saints of God, this ain't that time. This is that time that you got to realign yourself with the Lord. You got to make sure that your house is in order. Amen. You got to make sure that you're in the right calling. Amen. You got to make sure that you have the mind shift. If God is trying to shift his people and we are his people, we got to make sure that we're shifting along with God and we're discerning the times and the seasons. We have to understand where we are in the time, in this time, and in this season of life. That if we're not ready for this, we won't be ready for revelations. Amen. If we don't know how to prepare ourselves at this time, we're not going to be able to prepare ourselves in the times to come. Dr. Linda Smith, thank you for watching. My son, David, and Brittany, amen. Thank you for being on. Amen. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you guys getting up this morning and, and being attentive to the word of God. Amen. So we know that, that, that in these seasons that we have to be steadfast. One of the things that the enemy wants to steal is our testimony. He wants to steal our faith. Yes, he's after your faith. Are you going to, are you know, are, is your faith going to be deterred? Are you, are you going to lack standing on the promises of God? Right now, our, our family, David and Brittany, our, our family are, are going through a little thing. And, and, and I, I tell you what, no, we're going to stand on the promises of God. We're going to continue to trust God with all our heart, with all our might, with all our strength. We're going to continue to love on God. So saints of God, during times like this, during seasons like this, we have to understand and we have to take note. We have to listen. What is God saying? You know, some years ago, my mother and I were in Florida. We missed our flight and I was upset. Oh my God, I was throwing tantrums. Imagine that, Pastor Francis throwing tantrums. Well, I was very upset. Why did I miss my flight? And Holy Spirit had to get in touch with me to say, come down down. And I had to say, okay, God, if I miss my flight and we did all that we could to miss our, to, to prepare, why did we miss our flight? And come to find out the Lord had me to turn around, go back to the hotel where I was waiting on a prophet that would give me a word that I would need for the next couple of months. Saints of God, the Lord is trying to get our attention. And rather than using this time in frustration, rather than using this time to vent, rather than using this time to be angry, I can't do this and I can't do that. Don't you know we're feeding into the hands of the enemy when we complain? Complaining is not of God in the first place. Let me remind you, complaining is not of God in the first place. This, this time, this season that we're in, we need to be thankful. 
We need to take time to hear what God is saying. We, re we need to rejoice in all things. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is good. Good morning, Anita. I see you. And Elder Espinosa, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. But we need to pay attention to what Holy Spirit is trying to say to us. We need to discern the times, amen, amen, and discern our household, discern where we are in the Lord, discern where, if, if our faith is strong enough. We need to take time to seek the Lord. These are times, hallelujah, not for complaining, but these are the times that we need to seek God more so than ever. If this season hasn't caused you to pray, if this season of time hasn't caused you to reach out on God and to reach out toward God, if you're not lifting holy hands, hallelujah, and praying and fasting and seeking God, amen, you're missing the opportunity. You're not discerning the times, amen. You know, over in Second Chronicles, I, I didn't intend to bring this up, but Holy Spirit is dropping this. You know, if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face, and turn. Listen, saints of God, can I tell you, this is a season of repentance. This is a season of repentance. Maybe you, maybe you don't think you have sin in your life. Well, Washington State has sinned. We need to repent. On, we need to repent on behalf of our senators, our governors, our mayors. Amen. We need to repent for repent on their behalf for making decisions that were not of God. Amen. We need to repent on their behalf. We need to seek God on their behalf. Amen. We need to seek God on their behalf. There are laws that were passed that were not of God. Where they're teaching sex education in, in the schools. And now that law has passed for Washington State. Prior to the coronavirus breaking out in Washington State, they passed that law. A few weeks prior to that, they had uh, witchcraft, devil worship on the state capitol. Saints of God, if you don't think we need to repent, our nation, our state, our, we need to repent. We need to repent on behalf of them. So saints of God, people, I just, I just encourage us to be steadfast, be immovable. I need you to always abound in the work of the Lord. I need you to stir up the gift of God that's on the ends. I need the Holy Spirit to rise up in you so that you can be strong, bold, and courageous. Amen. I believe the Lord is calling us to say things that we wouldn't ordinarily say. I believe the Lord is causing us to do things that maybe we would step out of the box that we would not ordinarily do. I believe the church, this is a time and this is a season like never before that the body of Christ will rise up, amen, and be steadfast, amen. We can shake heaven, hallelujah, with our prayers. Can I remind you of the authority that you have in prayer? You have great authority in prayer. Don't lose what you got. Don't lose what you have. Call out on the name of the Lord. Amen. Be steadfast. Be steadfast. Do what you are called. Your assignment is shifting. Yes, your assignment is shifting. Amen. Be steadfast. You know, one of the things that, that, um, that uh, the Lord was reminding me over in James I believe the first chapter, and he talks about a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. This is not that time to be double-minded. It's not that time to be double-minded. This is the time to make up your mind, to be strong in the Lord, to be fruitful. This is the time to bear fruit. 
amen, to be strong in the Lord, amen, thank you for watching, God bless you all, amen, I tell you, I love the church, I love the church, I, you know, if, if you don't have an assignment, um, let's begin to pray and fast for three days, let's pray and let's fast, amen, for three days, Amen. I'm going to join you in, in, in the fasting. Amen. And let's break that fast on Wednesday. Amen. And we're going to prepare for the Lord's Supper um, next Sunday for Holy Communion next Sunday. We're, we're going to prepare our hearts and our minds. Amen. But let our minds be shifted. I just want to encourage you. Let our minds be shifted. Don't let allow hardness and discouragement to settle on your heart. God has not abandoned you. Church, God has not forsaken us. He has not abandoned us. But let's be fruitful. Let's be steadfast. Amen. Amen. Father God, I just want to pray over your people that you guard their hearts. Hallelujah. Open up their understanding. Father God, that you would strengthen them, that you would encourage them in Jesus' name. I speak peace over your, your, your people, Lord God. I speak blessings over your people in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. Amen. And I just want to remind you before I, before I go off air is that we you can reach us through Heavily Sent Christian Ministries. Um, dot com amen uh, you'll find our website or you can google us or google pastor francis and you can find me that way also i will be posting this message on youtube like the message and subscribe amen i just want to encourage you to subscribe amen and please share the message amen if you've been blessed i just want to thank those that share the message again Thank you. God bless you. And I'll see you real soon.